All right, let's talk about the next level up. We we started with two masses on a lever or a rod, and we balanced them. Then we went to multiple masses on the x-axis, and then we went to multiple particles, each with a different mass on the coordinate plane. So now we're going to talk about a plate on the coordinate plane. And when I say plate, I don't mean like a circular, perfectly round plate. I just mean a region sitting in the coordinate plate sitting in the coordinate plane, and you're looking to find the center of mass for that region. So in this case, my region is basically this situation here, and I'm looking for the center of mass, which I don't know, might be about right here. Okay, so that's a guess. Let's talk about how to develop a formula to come up with that center of mass. So what we're going to do is we are going to look at the midpoint heights. Do you see here how I've got the midpoint Riemann sum for each of these rectangles, okay? So in order to find the centroid, we find the centroid of each of the rectangles of the midpoint Riemann sum. And the centroid of the rectangle is literally the center of the rectangle. And the beauty of a rectangle is that the center will be half the distance from each pair of opposite sides. So maybe here for this eighth rectangle. Okay, so we, we choose to work with the ith rectangle, and that ith rectangle is going to have height of f of x sub i up here, and it's going to have an x value down here of x sub i, okay? And then the width of the rectangle, this piece right here, is going to be delta x. So the area of that rectangle is going to be this, and note that we put an x bar sub i, where x bar sub i is the midpoint, delta x is the width, all of this ith rectangle. Then if we want the mass of the ith rectangle, we multiply that area by rho, which was, if you recall, our uniform density. And I don't know if I mentioned that already, um, but the uniform density rho is required to our simplistic cases in, cal in this calculus course. Uh, certainly you could have a some sort of lamina with variable density, but we're not going to go there at, at this level, okay? So, so I know now that this rectangle, this ith rectangle, is going to have a mass of rho times the area of the rectangle. The area of the rectangle will be driven by the midpoint height and the width of the rectangle. So now what I want to do is find the moments of that ith rectangle. Um, we want to do it around the y-axis, and of course, we're also going to have to do it next around the x-axis. So let's start with the moment around the y-axis, and that's going to be the product of the mass and the distance from the centroid of the ith rectangle. And basically, um, the centroid of the ith rectangle is re represented by x bar sub i. So the mass, or the, excuse me, the moment with respect to the y-axis is mass times x sub bar i. Remember at the beginning we just did, you know, m1, x1. So we have mi, xi for all the different um, moments. So that comes from the very first part of this lesson. Okay, so that's effectively what we're doing here. It's just that mass is more complicated. Mass is what we already found, which was the uniform density times the area of the ith rectangle. We multiply it by the centroid of the ith rectangle. And then all I did on this section here was pull it apart so that my delta x was listed last. And I wanted it listed last because what we really want to do is add up an infinite number of moments of an infinite number of infinitely thin ith rectangles. And as you recall, we have the first, second, third, ith ith plus 1, ith plus 2, all the way to the nth rectangle, okay? So, so the moment is going to be the limit as n goes to infinity of the summation of the n moments, n individual moments, okay? So you're adding up n individual moments and taking the limit as n goes to infinity. And when you do that, what you're going to do is, not surprisingly, you'll get the, this row pulled out in front because it is a constant, and your delta x at the very end of the integral is going to go to dx. And then this whole concept of the limit, taking out the p out in front and taking out the delta x to be dx, but you're basically taking x sub r i times f of x, sub, x bar sub i, 
And that is just effectively x times f of x. And you are going to integrate from a to b, which are going to be your limits of integration as given in the problem. Okay, so this formula is for the moment of the lamina with respect to the x axis, or to the y axis, excuse me, sub y here. So we can do the same thing around the x axis. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take the distance of the centroid of the ith rectangle to the x axis, which is represented by one half of the height of the ith rectangle. And remember, f of x bar sub i is the height of the ith rectangle, and half of that will be, you know, the center of mass from a from a um, symmetry standpoint, you want to go halfway up. So this cut spot is one half below, one half above. So we want one half the height of the, uh, height of the rectangle. So then m sub x is the mass times the um, centroid, basically. So then the centroid is going to be, or the mass, excuse me, is going to be the um, row value and then this is the area of the ith rectangle, and then this is the centroid with respect to x of the ith rectangle. And all I've done here is multiply out, I took um, f of x bar sub i and f of x bar sub i, and now I have it squared. And I have the one half out in front, and then I have the delta x. And of course, just like with the moment with respect to y, what I wanna do is have an infinite number of infinitely thin rectangles, and so I take my delta x and I rewrite it as dx. I'm going to pull my row out in front. And instead of this limit notation, what I really want is actually my one half can go out in front too. So I can have a row over two out in front. My limits of integration will be from a to b. And then here, what I really need is just f of x squared. So that is what goes in the integral as the integrand. Okay, so, so then when I want to get the center of mass, the interesting thing is that the, 